Metric of Halloween are back with Shelly, special guest. No, 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 no. I'm Yael Gavish, this is Matt Kona, and we watched a pretty good movie today. And it was Matt's choice. Yeah. Uh, not like I see you, the first uh, version that we started no. with, that we watched all the way. This one called... It was called Gonjium Haunted Asylum from 2018. Gonjium. It was highly recommended by a friend of mine named Tim Vargulish, so I want to give him a shout out. He's a creator. Thank you, Tim. Creator of a comic called Goatman. He's also the co-host of a podcast called Boo, which is a comedy podcast about spooky stories and things like that. But he's a huge horror fan. He watches a ton of movies every October, and uh, he he posted about this one and uh. Checked it out. I'm yeah, glad it's that we good. Did. Very good. I liked it. I don't usually pick anything from the last five years, but this came out in 2018. So, why did you write about a judge by the cover? I wrote, "It looks like apartment in the woods." It looked to me. It reminded me of Hostel. Okay. Yeah, you see. I don't like, remember the cover of Hostel. Me neither, but like the idea. I mean, it says asylum, and it's like a creepy place. Looks old and weird. There's a famous insane asylum in Danvers, Massachusetts, that a movie was made about a couple of years ago. I forget what it was called, but that was also Gonjiam Haunted Denver's Asylum. <laughs> no, but uh, or maybe Denver is Haunted Asylum. <laughs> maybe that was what it was. Yeah, it was the American version of it. What was your body count? I think I've been by there before. I guessed. Eight? I guess six, and we were. Oh no! You know what? You're right. There were seven people. Yeah, but then they're like, yeah, that's right in the. And there's middle. two kids in the. Exactly, in the and the two kids in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So you got it. And Hell what yeah. first kill? I said thirteen minutes and thirteen seconds. I said eighteen, and I was right. I mean, if you count the first. The kids, yeah, the kids are like... From the beginning, yeah. then it happened in like the first two minutes. Nudity and sex. Uh, I said yes. I said no. Why did I say yes? Uh, yeah. No, Korean are very professional. Bleak ending, <laughs> yes. No. I was right. I don't think so. Animal death. They all died and that's it. Uh, no, it was bleak because it was streamed on YouTube and people thought it was fake. I said yes. A panda would die. Oh my God! Why would you say that? <laughs> because I always pick it's a Asia, a strange animal. And you you mess no, you mix not because it up it's with Asia. Japan or China. China, it's uh, panda. Korea has pandas too. Also in the United States in uh, the zoo. Exactly right. <laughs> Could have been a haunted animal asylum in Denver. Uh, so the <laughs> movie opens up with cell phone footage of two teenage kids. About to open door 402 of this insane asylum. And it's got graffiti all over it. And they're calling they're calling their friends pussies for not going up there for uh, to open it. And then the footage cuts out. And we're watching a YouTube show called Horror Fans or something. And it's Korea's top rated uh, haunted happenings youtube show and they're talking about the asylum and they're talking about how they're checking the they're guy verifying said verifying if this video is yeah. real or not and he says it's real we're going to check it too mm -hmm. so he's the the guy who is the host of the show is big time content creator he's i mean he's a young entrepreneur and he recruits these people who are fans of the show and all have their own different uh, specialties in terms of production, things like that. And they all meet at in the town of uh, Gongium or maybe uh, the town that the asylum is and they they figure out their roles, they get to know each other, they drink some beer, they eat some really crappy looking pizza and french fries. French fries looked salad. really good. Okay, the pizza looked awful. And but. the french fries, I was looking at the french fries. <laughs> I want french fries. Yeah. And uh, the beer looks good, too. I don't know if I've ever had Korean beer. but um, Yeah, the beer looked, looked more like a Heineken. 
Yeah. I don't know if it was a Korean beer or uh-huh. just a Heineken. Yeah, they could have been drinking imported beer. Can't wait to go to Korea. Can't wait to go to Busan. Do you think it was close to Busan or did they have to take a train to Busan? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's a different movie that we recapped already this month that was also Korean and great. Yeah. About zombies. I like this one a lot better. Really? It was yeah, shorter me too. and it was fun. It was good. And so, yeah, they they... They have a pretty good plan of what they're going to do. The asylum is long abandoned, but still secured. It's be, it's patrolled by the police because you always get these people who are trying to sneak in there and vandalize they open it or room drink 402. it. And, yeah. And they say that other people have tried to open 402 and nobody. they've been hospitalized. Like yeah. One person didn't wake up. One person killed himself. Yeah, they, they couldn't handle it. So they go in there and they set up these motion detecting cameras. They have all this equipment that can detect energy to presumably for ghosts and things like that. Equipment that it does exist from other ghost hunting shows. I don't know if it's a. Uh, Whatever, but they they, they like use some stuff. They use like yeah, they used it in the Conjuring too, you know. Yeah. And uh, so they they set it up. They fig they hike into the woods and set up a tent that will be their main production base. That's where the commandos, the commander yeah. is staying. Yeah, the commander? captain, the, the captain, captain, yeah, captain, the captain. They, they That's all, the guy that runs the channel. Yeah. They all have traditional Korean names except for one girl whose name is Charlotte. <laughs> so I don't remember. On the way there, we didn't mention that, but on the way there, they're like, they stopped on a lake and they were jumping using the GoPros. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did cool. some fun activities. I li- yeah, I like the... Tested out the wares yeah. before they were ready for it. And, uh, and, I, and uh, when I had heard about the movie, I thought... It, it was referred to as a Korean found footage movie, which I was a little bit like, okay, well, this is a highly recommended movie. I'm going to take my policy of uh, hating found footage movies and putting it away. But it wasn't really like that. I mean, it was in the the guise of the footage was, I think was first GoPros of all, and stuff. Yeah, but. first of all, there are like many cameras. So it wasn't just like one camera that you're getting a headache from like oh, one what person is talking going to it on i'm yeah. blogging <laughs> yeah. no but also like i don't know like the the witch the blur which from uh, the uh, yeah so it's not like that there's like one like jumping camera it's yeah. just like a lot of cameras with a lot of like very good Multiple equipment angles. or yeah or like <laughs> yeah the, the, even like paranormal activity there's one camera and you're just waiting for something to happen in this one you have a lot of cameras so you have a lot of like angles that you can play with and and do fun and cool things so it's not just mm-hmm. like right and they set that up with the story being that they hooked up all these cameras in the corners of the building anyway so they can cut back and forth to those as well as the uh you have a camera on the person's face to get the reaction at all times. A guy just holding a camcorder. And then the the ones that are set up around the building. So a lot of options. And the captain is toggling between them. He's giving directions. He's telling people like they're going on one floor. They're not just all together. There's a couple people on one floor. There's six crew members, one captain. And uh, three, the four floors of the building because... 402 is on the fourth floor and um and so they the basement is uh is uh, the first floor they're talking about it in the beginning mm-hmm. they're like wait so there are like three floors here or four floors? and then uh, like yeah the basement is like counts as counts the floor. As first yeah yeah so they go in and it's obviously dilapidated trash there's still shit everywhere and obviously people have been in there and partying and Things like that. A lot of graffiti all around, which I thought it was a little too much, all the graffiti. Yeah. It just, that's the only thing that I thought bothered me. Besides all, the movie was mwah. Yeah. But they they do some stuff, like they, uh, Charlotte sets up a thing of holy water to put over there to draw out the ghosts, presumably. And, uh... 
and they do rituals to to cleanse it or there's a few different parts where you're like okay that's a little bit weird they're not just like observers they they believe in them. Yeah, and then they go in couples, like to go to the first floor, to go to the second floor, to go to the third floor. I mean, they're going to specific rooms to show what's going on there. And, and the plan is always to open up. Yeah, that's like the last. final plan. Yeah, because they want they, this is being live broadcast, and they want a lot of viewers. They want so a million they get, viewers. Make, that's they can the make goal. more money. You got to make money off the clicks, the content providing. So, uh, things begin to escalate. Um, then it, they, they put, it turns out a couple uh, characters of the movie worked closely with the, the captain to sort of stage some things. Like, they yeah. moved a doll that can be seen. They find a bunch of cool old pictures of the um, facility over the years including the director, this woman in charge who is big into ping pong. Um, her with all... It's so weird that it, it's like a... You know, when a team, like a baseball team, has a yearly picture of everyone and all the coaches together. It's just her and a bunch of insane people all looking in different directions. Like, why would they commemorate the class of Gongium Asylum? But... Uh, they do it, and they find some stuff like a guy holding a weird doll that looks like the dictator of North Korea, but in voodoo doll form. And uh, I have a Shelly behind my back. I'm just like, yeah. don't touch her. No contact. And they have she a start jumping. There's a, uh, a. It's the first time she's on the couch, so I don't want her to get too comfortable or too used to that. So yeah. Back so the doll back. gets moved moves into different rooms and then one guy picks it up and then Charlotte starts freaking out that there's curses behind it and you shouldn't pick it up and uh, she wants to leave other girls the other girl gets there's three girls but one of the other girls gets really freaked out too they have to be calmed down by the the fellas and the crew and, um, you know, little by little, smaller things start adding up and they get bigger. Like, there's a, they go to the shower room and water turns on. They see, no, they see an image of where a person was on the wall. And, uh, and then they go to do a ritual. And they go to that room. They already set everything up. Like a lot of bells on the ceiling with oh, like yeah. strings, and the youngest girl needs to turn on. Uh, how do you say that? The thing with the smell. The thing with the smell. Yeah, that you light and. Incense. Incense. Yes, yeah, yeah. so she needs to light one up. She needs to burn something, on two candles that are already ready for that ritual, and they're waiting. And after a moment, all the bells starts to ring. The candles are turning off. Turn, how do you say that? Like, mikhbim. Extinguished. Extinguished. And, and then they're all, like, freak out. They're like, oh, my God. Ah! And then the, after, like, a moment, we learn that it was kind of like the two guys that's working with the captain. Because the captain is like, oh, did they buy it? And they're like, oh, no. Oh. Shit, perfect. All the trees that you got. Oh, no. No, oh, yo Yeah. Get a puppy. It's fun. At They're least she cute. got off the couch before she puked, and she just yeah. puked all over her bed. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, Shelly. Oh, no. And we're back. Crisis, crisis, crisis. Uh, everything is good. Everything is clean. And uh, and Shelly feels all right. Thank you for asking. <laughs> back to the asylum. <laughs> from the movie, not from uh, our reality. We live uh, in an asylum. 
Yeah, so people are like going to check, they're doing the ritual, and then we find out that two guys from the group are working with the captain, and they're basically, they did it. They so. they want to stage at least part of this to get the reactions of the girls, particularly Charlotte. And to get Charlotte. million uh yeah, because the reactions follow, like gets follow, gets like the views viewers. and gets yeah. shared more, and they get more money on the uh, monetization of it, getting some some profits. But then some other stuff that they didn't plan on starts happening, like uh, all the metal things in the room rise up to the ceiling and slam down to the ground. It was after that. The, the things got crazy when the. There's like one of them that tried to put his hand inside of a, a cabin. What right. So they have these doors or these little uh, rooms that are supposedly for therapy for the uh, people. They're just basically like a little closet that they're stuck in. It almost looks like a sauna door with just a little window out. And so they put their hand, one of them puts his hand in. And uh, you can't tell if he's, like, faking it to try to get a reaction. I think he faked it. But then someone gets, like, slammed up against the door when... Uh, no, and then the girl is it. like, let me try. <laughs> Classic and, move. Yeah, and then she's getting that, too. And she's getting, like, crazy. She's like, oh, my God, that's real. Yeah. Let's get out hysterical. of here. Yeah. And her and Charlotte are about to leave. And then Charlotte, in the beginning, she wrote... Uh, her name, like with a, just graffiti, um, and there was she wrote her name right next to another graffiti that said, "Let's leave," something like that. Uh, no, it says like people live here. It said people live here. No, it said it was. And then, then later it says people die here. I think it said like let's live and let's die. Okay. I don't know. Your Korean is better than mine. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, so she says, like, it said something else before that when he put that, and she's getting really freaked out, and she's like, let's get out of here. So both of the girls decide that they're out. They start to run to the exit, and the guy, the editor, the captain, is, like, checking it, and he's like, oh, my God, it is. It, it changed. Mm -hmm. And the people that work for him, basically... Or asking him, did it really change? Like something like that could happen? And it was like, no, it's the same. That's what it said in the beginning. Yeah. And he's kind of like getting freaked out. Things are happening to him in the tent. Yeah, he starts losing power. And the gas. The screens start tweaking out. Oh, yeah, the, the first thing that happens is the, they have a little hot plate gas so they can cook noodles in there. And uh, it just starts shooting flames up at it. So shuts that off. Kind of doesn't think much about it, shuts it off, and uh, goes back to pulling the strings for this big production. And all the while, you're seeing uh, lots of people are watching. Not yet a million, but hundreds of thousands are getting to. And so he's loving it. And there's like uh, no one is getting out of there. I need more. Right. We just want them to leave. Yeah. It's not that he's trying to trap them in there oh yeah of course he doesn't want them like, to abandon until they get yeah to also he's like a big horror fan and he's like he doesn't believe in those things yeah so the two girls are like escaping they got out of the building yeah, and they, they, they start running in the, the woods. woods looking for the tent and they suddenly realize that there are like things on the floor from inside from the lab Things yeah, that were in the they lab. see a microscope and some trash that was on yeah, the floor in like, there. It's here, like that. And one of the girls is just like, I mean, one of the, the Charlotte is talking. The other girl is just like facing off her. I would say that. Like, She's just standing still in the other direction is not wrong. Other responsive. direction. She's turned around with her back to her. And then, uh, and then she comes closer. She's like, are you okay? What's going on? And then she, her face is like the face that drove crazy, drove the world crazy like a year ago maybe, maybe less. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. It was that like face that was something. It was like a teenager, like uh, Hawks 
or something or like hoax hoax her eyes are black and she's... yeah it looks just like that character that you saw on the internet and it's like supposed to kill you or something it's just like the scare kids online recently it was it was and it looked i forgot the name of it but it looked just like that like the mouth her mouth became like weird like painted like like a, a smiley yeah and her eyes were like big and black and she was just like mumbling like, yeah it was creepy I like that. I thought it's super, super cool. It was a good scare. Yeah. And then they transported, and they're inside. Yeah, the and then now. they realize she realizes that they're in the asylum, and there's a creepy creature. Was that the guy that holds the doll in the picture? By the way, it's like ah. Is it a naked man with just a giant cut down the front or back of his body? It's a little bit tough to see. What? direction he's faced in yeah but she starts to walk she has like a it's all like flashlights she looks at him again and he's standing in the same spot i thought he's gonna come closer he's standing in the same spot so she starts to move then he just walks to the side like a crab but slowly like dragging one foot it was super scary and cool Uh i love that part and she tries to open the door of course it's locked and then he jumps on her, and we guess that we lost her too. Yeah, but at this at this time, the crew is outside of door four hundred two, and they hear her screaming, and they're like, "Is that Charlotte? How did she get in there?" And they're still in the process of trying to saw it open because they can't just or weld it. They're melting it to try to open it up, and uh, it's not working. And then no, before that, they told the captain that they're done. They're going out and yeah. not doing it anymore and he was mad he was like no and then he decided he's going in and he started to walk there they're already like trapped in the, the asylum no way to go back and they hear her like inside well then the guys end up in another room too with water in this hole in the no, ceiling no that was the three of them inside of room 402 yeah, they don't know how they got inside there, but there's no the door The captain out. is going in and he's getting into a room and he sees like a little, kind of like a mirror and he goes in there, he's looking and he's getting scared. There's like, we see his feet and there's like other feet that flies to him. And basically touched his back, so like floating feet. Mm-hmm. So we only see the feet. We don't. We don't see like the the rest of the body. Just floats toward him, and stops and start to kind of like do rotate toward him, and he's changing the direction of the camera so he can see himself like a selfie mode. In the viewfinder. Yeah. And then there's like a creepy character right behind him. Like, on him, on his shoulder. Yeah. It's like a a person. Creepy. Ghost. And it hangs him from the air and (laughs) kills him. Yeah. 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 And the bleakest ending of all is the viewership has gone down on YouTube. And the people think that it was fake because there there were... uh, the people that were working with him were frantically trying to explain. They're like, "We staged the doll thing, but this isn't this isn't fake." And so yeah, because when find when out they one thing staged, so they think the whole thing is bullshit. No, but they tried to open the door, and he told the one of the guys found them and was like, "Let's get out of here. It's too dangerous. We need to get out of here." And they're like, "Yeah, but the captain said." And he's like, "I don't care. Like, I helped him to do that thing. It yeah. was scary, but." But now it's real. Now it's we don't do anything. We need mm-hmm. to get out of here. And then that's when the captain decides to go in. And they find themselves inside of the room. And there is no door. Yeah. It's pretty creepy. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, set design, all the, the music, the mood, the lighting. They, they pretty much hit it out of the park. And uh, 
It was perfect. It was a classic, perfect, fun horror movie. Yeah. And then I had a class right after we watched the movie, and my phone started to play a song that I've never heard about. <laughs> Super scary. I told my girls, I was like, I just watched a horror movie. That's kind of creepy. Gungeum style. Yeah. Oh, and then the stove style. started firing flames out of it. But that was just because our dog jumped up and hit the switches. What? What did he say? So then the stove started shooting yeah. flames out of it. No, I didn't. She just turned it on for... <laughs> she did gas. turn the gas on last week. Yeah. All right, so... We live uh, in a horror movie. I think that's it. Thank you for... No, everybody. I wanted to say something. Okay. Uh, I don't remember, but it was important. I thought the movie was very well made. The cast, like I mean, the the acting was great. The I I liked like food. I I liked like paranormal activity and Project the Machshafami Blair, the Blair Witch Project, the Witch Blair. How do you say? You said it right. Oh my God! The first the first time. So I like those things. I liked Creep that we recap last year. And I like this, so I didn't like I See You. But I wanted to say something about that. I forgot. Uh, it was important. Well, we're going to be podcasting again tomorrow because we're doing this every day. But it's going to be a different days. movie. Yeah, but you could say, hey, for those of you who listened yesterday, here's the thing I forgot. i probably not going to remember. Okay. Well, there's always the internet because when we post this, <laughs> You can also type words underneath. Thanks for watching or listening. Thank you for watching. If you have a dog who threw up, I feel bad for you. It's sad and scary. And we hope she's okay. (laughs) Solidarity for Halloween month. Thank thank you, you everyone who watched the video with the seven-minute intermission that we will not edit out (laughs) of us cleaning up vomit and trying to calm down the dog. Keeping it real. I'm still trying to remember what I wanted to say. Okay. I will sit here until you remember. Did, were you scared? Were you scared in the movie? Um, I felt. I'm buying time. I felt tension in the movie. I wasn't. I'm not. I'm not going to be scared by a movie because it's it's uh. Unless it's a real life. Thing. I'm not going to be scared. I'm, I'll feel tension for oh, the Oh, come on. You jumped like crazy in The Conjuring. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And Veronica? No, I it's didn't. It's fun I'm, jumping know, in but, movies. I know, but I, this I know how I react. This one wasn't a very jumping movie for some reason. I felt like they could have done it maybe better for that, but they did. I don't know. It was still good. I really enjoyed like every part of it. And I still don't remember what I wanted to say. Oh, my God. This is a good way to... <laughs> I'm buying time. I'm buying time. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. It's getting late and I need to sleep so that tomorrow I won't forget everything. So yeah. thank you for listening and subscribe, like, share, watch horror movies and watch this movie. It's really good. It's on Amazon Prime, right? Yes, yeah. it is. And it's good. And it's the only movie of its kind named this title. Beside Denver's Haunted Asylum. But right. It still didn't release or have been written. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I'm Yael Gavish. This is Matt Kona. And Shelly is resting now. <laughs> Bye. Good night.